Hi there. Well, we've seen plenty of scenes like this over the past week or so. We've had high pressure dominating, but we've had this layer of cloud trapped underneath an inversion. So it's kept daytime temperatures quite chilly as that cloud has stopped any warmth getting through to the surface. But it also meant that many places have remained frost free as that layer of cloud has kept the temperatures from falling too low. So any places that have seen some clear spells over the past few nights have seen some, some frosty patches, but many places have stayed frost free. Now, throughout January so far, we have seen some scenes like this, not necessarily over the past week or so, but earlier in the month, we saw some, some pretty nice spells of sunshine as we've been high pressure dominated for much of the time. So this is just a rainfall anomaly map as estimated by the radar for January so far. And just briefly to point out, I know many of you are definitely aware of how dry it's been in terms of the rainfall that we've seen, but you can see across large portions of the British Isles, we've seen below average rainfall. Most of the rainfall has been across northern and northwestern hills. You can see parts of northwestern Scotland and parts of northwestern Ireland, slightly above average, but the vast majority of places, especially in the south, have seen below average rainfall through the month so far. So what we're going to see over the next few days, let's take a look at the jet stream. So this is Tuesday. We've got this uh, jet stream running across the Atlantic and running to the north of the British Isles. So we're under this area of high pressure through Tuesday. As we go into Wednesday, well, we're still going to see high pressure uh, at first, but it is going to move away to the south. We're going to see the jet stream push this front through from the northwest, followed by a breezy and chillier northwesterly flow. High pressure builds again for a time for Friday, but then the jet stream moves more over the British Isles into the weekend. We see some breezy conditions. You can see the jet stream's pretty active right the way across the Atlantic to the west of us with further areas of low pressure likely to push through. So things might turn a little bit more unsettled and breezier and milder as we go into the weekend, but in the short term, high pressure will still play a big part in the weather. So this is how things standing Wednesday morning. High pressure ridging in from the southwest centered down here uh, near the Azores. So a touch of frost first thing on Wednesday. Generally, it will be dry. We're looking at highs of five to seven degrees in places, perhaps a little bit more sunshine than previous days. It does turn a bit breezy though um, into Wednesday evening and overnight into Thursday um, as those isobars tighten and we get that front push southwards through. So overnight Wednesday into Thursday, a little bit of patchy rain in places, but as it clears to the south through Thursday midday and then to the end of Thursday, we will see a brighter, fresher feel uh, to the weather. Quite breezy, a few wintry showers in this northwesterly flow, especially across Scotland and down any North Sea coastlines, uh, but it will be a brighter end to the day on Thursday. Temperatures on Thursday may get up to 9 or 10 degrees in places as well associated with some milder air as that front comes through. So to start the day on Friday we're back to ridged conditions, still a breezy northwesterly down the North Sea. There could be a touch of frost especially where any clearer spells develop and linger for longer into the night but generally a dry start to the day. As we go through the day that high pressure weakens, begins to move away to the south, we get a breezier westerly flow develop some fronts pushing into northwestern Scotland. It will turn milder in the west as well. Parts of Ireland and perhaps parts of western Wales and southwest England could see highs of 10 to 12 degrees locally. Further east, the mild air doesn't quite reach us um, and it will sort of be closer to highs of 6, 7, 8 degrees. So a bit of a westies contrast in terms of the temperatures for Friday daytime. But as we go overnight Friday and into Saturday, that mild air air is going to become a little bit more widespread. Many places on Saturday could see highs of 10, 12, 13 degrees. So quite mild for the time of year, above average as what, from what you'd expect at this time of year. You can also see it's becoming pretty breezy. We've got these tightening isobars. Most places on Friday night and through Saturday are going to see a pretty blustery day. We've got some rain continuing to push into northwestern Scotland. And as you go into Saturday proper, that moves further southwards. Perhaps a little bit more rain than this model suggests. There could be that front, uh, this model here weakens that front, but it could be that that remains a little bit more active um, through Saturday afternoon. So potential for some rain further south as well, but the heaviest rain will be across northwestern Scotland. Now you can see by the end of Saturday to the south of this front, that's where the milder air is going to remain. But as it clears southwards, many places will lose that milder feel and we'll see some colder air coming in from the northwest behind that front. Uh, some breezier conditions as well in the northeast, um, but a chilly end to the day for many northern parts on Saturday. So as we look further on into the weekend, the, the next main thing to notice is this area of low pressure out here to uh, the west of the UK. That's going to play a big role in the weather on Sunday. A lot of uncertainty over the exact track of that area of low pressure at the minute. This is just three models idea of where that center of the low might be on Sunday afternoon. So you can see one of these models here has got it down to the south of Ireland. 
Another one's got it up to the northwest of Scotland. And this model here, not quite as developed to circulation, but it is moving it more across central areas. So the forecast may change uh, locally from run to run between now and then. There will likely be some gusty winds to the southern edge of this, some heavy rain in places, and potentially some snow as well as that area of low pressure moves into some colder air in places. You can see most of these models hinting at some wintriness, most likely over northern hills. So a lot of uncertainty for Sunday, but it looks like somewhere across the UK we'll see this area of low pressure come through and bring some blustery winds, some heavy rain, and the potential for some snow in places. So one to stay on top of uh, in the forecast and, and keep an eye on how things progress over the next few days. After that though, as we look through into the early part of next week, that area of low pressure on Sunday is going to move away to the east across parts of Eastern and Central Europe. The UK is going to be left in this chilly and breezy northwesterly flow. So a few wintry showers, particularly across Scotland, but a few down the east coast, a few around the Irish Sea as well. Um, but high pressure rebuilding in from the southwest. So the best of the driest weather out to the southwest with the risk of showers elsewhere, particularly in the northern part of the country. So there's a lot going on over the next few days. Much of the time it will be dry, but there are a few periods of patchy rain and then the potential for some heavier rain on Sunday as well, as well as some strong winds at times over the next week. So the best way of staying on top of the forecast is to speak directly to one of our forecasters. They're available every day from 6 a.m. till 5.30 p.m. and they'll be able to answer any questions on any aspect of the weather um, that you might be interested in. So they're the best way of staying on top of any changes and developments in the forecast. Now, looking ahead to next week, this is an average map for the jet stream averaged across uh, the whole of next week. So that's from the 31st of January through until the 6th of February. And what you can see, you've got this quite amplified jet stream running to the north of the British Isles and then diving southwards down into Central and Eastern Europe. So this big trough of low pressure here, we've got this ridge of high pressure to the south of the jet stream. And we're likely gonna see areas of low pressure and fronts running to the north over Scotland and then down into Central and Eastern Europe. So some places are going to see a fair bit of rain. This is the average pressure pattern for that period. So you can see an anomaly for high pressure out to the southwest. So these areas likely to stay a bit drier, but elsewhere these blue colours showing areas of low pressure likely running along and to the north of the jet stream. So in terms of rainfall, drier than average across the southwest, Spain, France, parts of the Mediterranean, into south and, uh, southern and eastern Britain as well, we could see below average rainfall. But as those fronts push through, we're gonna see a fair bit of rain across western hills, parts of the UK, um, particularly northwestern Scotland, a lot of rain there, above average rainfall likely uh, for those far northwestern parts, but still a, a reasonable amount of rainfall for uh, central uh, hills and uh, Wales, the Pennines, areas like that. But these fronts running uh, to the north, you can see wetter than average in Norway and then wetter than average across parts of central and Eastern Europe, often in a situation like this with the northwesterly Scandinavia and around the Baltic, it does end up being a little bit drier as a lot of that rain and snow ends up over Norway. So perhaps drier than average around parts of the Baltic um, and uh, Sweden, but generally above average rainfall for those central areas. And in terms of temperatures, any colder than average temperatures generally becoming confined to the southeast, and we see a bit more of a milder influence elsewhere. The start of the week with that northwesterly could see some pretty chilly temperatures, perhaps a risk of frost. Um, a few wintry showers like I mentioned but as we go further into next week we're going to see this mild air become more dominant um, and temperatures lifting slightly above average. Now into the following week, the second week of February, we lose that amplification of the jet stream so we lose that diving down southwards, we've got some less troughiness over eastern Europe and actually generally we see a fair amount of ridging, a fairly strong signal here for above average pressure and high pressure ridging across southern Britain, a fairly active and mobile jet stream running across Northern Europe. So that's including parts of the UK, Scandinavia. So for here in the UK, it likely will be wetter than the previous couple of weeks with high pressure out to the south, ridging at times into Southern Britain. So below average rainfall for much of Central and Southern Europe, below average for parts of uh, Southern and Southeastern England um, and the UK, still wetter than previous weeks, but parts of Northern and Western uh, UK and Ireland will see above average rainfall, similarly across parts of Scandinavia as well. And with that more mobile westerly flow and more active jet stream, we will see milder conditions continuing across Northern and Western Europe, again, with any colder temperatures likely confined to the Southeast. So there may still be the few uh, nights where we see a touch of frost, but generally uh, many places will be just that bit milder than you'd expect for the time of year. Now, as we go into the third week of February, a fairly similar pattern we've got broad area of high pressure at times, ridging 
across southern and central Europe. Still a fairly active jet stream running across northern Europe, so bringing rain to parts of the UK, Scandinavia, particularly in the UK, parts of northern and western areas are going to see those above average uh, amounts of rainfall. Further southeast you are, it still will be uh, wet at times, we'll still see fronts come through, but generally it might just be below average uh, for parts of, uh, for example, East Anglia, Southeast Europe, uh, East uh, England, East Yorkshire, places like that. So the further northwest you are, the more likely it will be above average, and then similarly across northern Europe as well. So a more mobile uh, westerly flow as we go into the second part of the month. So to summarise, for the rest of this week, high pressure will still have an influence at times. We will see some fronts though, particularly in the northwest, and it will become a little bit milder and breezier as that ridge weakens towards the second half of the week. Um, in that northwesterly to start next week, we will see a, a bit of a colder spell, perhaps some frost, perhaps a few wintry showers. The potential for some snow in places on Sunday with that area of low pressure. Uh, but it will then become milder and more mobile as we go into the rest of February with the southeast of the country seeing the best of the drier weather and the north and west seeing more frequent fronts and rain likely above average. So thanks for watching this week's video. As ever, you can keep up to date with the day-to-day -day forecasts for East Anglia and the UK on our social media, and you can find the farming forecast again next week. Thanks for watching.